So you finally reached Pirate Legend. First of all, congratulations, you've survived through all the toxic players, all of the bugs and glitches, and all of the amazing, absolutely amazing hit registration in this game. I'm not mad, you are. However, there is one final grind, one final push as a Pirate Legend, reaching Athena's Fortune level 20. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get there in as little time as possible, so strap in and let's get into it. Today, I'm going to show you how to get yourself to Athena's Fortune level 20 within a super short period of time, and I will show you how this all works out later on in the video. If you need any more help in getting to max rank for any of the other trading companies, you'll find more guides on my channel. For this strategy, I recommend doing this with at least one other person on the sloop, but you can do this solo, it's just going to take you slightly longer. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You're looking to spawn at either Ancient Spire or Plunder Outpost. If you spawn at Ancient Spire, start the legendary storyteller tooltale on the bar of the tavern. And if you spawn at Plunder Outpost, start the Cursed Rogue tooltale in the Order of Souls tent. This will decrease island spawn skeletons to just two sore hits worth of health, making your life a hell of a lot easier on legendary voyages. After that, you're going to want everyone in your crew to buy a Thieves Haven Voyage from Larina and start stocking up your boat. You will draw some attraction to yourselves while doing this method, so it's best to be as prepared as you can. To start, get one of your crew to kill themselves immediately using firebombs. This allows you to get the red flame which will come in handy later. When you put the coloured lanterns on your boat, make sure you turn lanterns off as players seeing the red and green flames on your boat will immediately know that you're doing Thieves Haven runs. And most likely they will try and tuck on you and yes, I am speaking from experience here. Sail on over to Thieves Haven and you're going to want to start doing the dig ups. Before I get into some further advice, you're going to want to get one of your crew to be killed by a skeleton and collect the green flame. Add this to your boat and continue the voyage. I usually split the dig ups into two sections, top side and bottom side. This helps to speed up the voyage and get you used to the specific dig up locations that you're assigned to. I myself will always dig up on the top of the island, while my partner will always dig up along the beaches and the bottom of the island. You want to make sure that you park your boat on the south side of the island, right here. This will allow the person on the beach to get off and get their digs quickly, and the person on top to be able to shoot out of a cannon and quickly get to their own digs. Thieves Haven runs are split into 5 chapters. Chapter 1 is 3 guaranteed dig ups on Thieves Haven. Chapter 2 is a riddle which can be found on any of the following islands. Devil's Ridge, Crook's Hollow or Snake Island. After you solve it, dig up the chest and it will spawn a green shadow skeleton which you will need to kill to get an Athena skull. Chapter 3 will contain 6 dig ups at guaranteed at Thieves Haven. Chapter 4 will be another riddle on one of the islands mentioned earlier. And Chapter 5 will be 9 dig ups on Thieves Haven. One of these dig ups is guaranteed to spawn a skeleton carrying an Athena keg, which will drop an Athena skull as well as the keg if killed correctly. So make sure you take a sniper around with you. Once you've completed the voyage, you should be around Emissary level 4. If you come across any Megalodons or Skeleton ships, make sure you kill them to raise the Emissary level further. If this still isn't enough and you haven't got to level 5 yet, put down another Thieves Haven voyage and complete this until you're Emissary 5. You do not have to complete the whole voyage here, it's just to raise that Emissary level. You do not want to cancel the voyage either though, as it will come in handy later. After this, you're going to want to go to Plunder Outpost and sell everything you have. Once you've sold everything, go ahead and claim the Emissary Quest from the Mysterious Stranger and Lower Emissary. Once lowered, re-raise it straight away and complete your Emissary Voyage. The Emissary Voyage will contain a treasure map with 7 X's unearthing Athena's treasure trinkets and crates, a riddle map that uncovers a collector's chest with Devil's Raw trinkets and smaller Athena treasure items, a bounty map with four skeleton captains that drop Athena's skulls. After these three quests are completed, players will receive a treasure map with two X's. One 
giving you a chest of legends, and one giving you an ancient keg of black powder. This again should bring you to emissary level 5 where you can go back to the outpost and sell and repeat the process by grabbing another emissary quest and lowering and re-raising. If at any point you do not get back to emissary level 5, do not worry as you should still have your Thieves Haven Voyage to go back to and get back up to emissary level 5 uh, with a few more pieces of loot. With all of that, you should be well on your way to max level in Athena's Fortune. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.